and the fact that another max for Sevilla will assure them a first place at the winter break, and this one should be pretty easy to predict. Sevilla and White on the move as we pick it up. Luis Fabiano whipping one in front. Freddy Canute is there to bang it home. one nothing home team just ahead of the half hour. Canute, 13 on the season. More scoring from the hosts in the second half. Sevilla threatening Dudu Awate's goal, but they are fouled on the way, and a penalty is given. Visitors, as you'd expect, unhappy with the decision. They won't force a change, though, so it is. Awate trying to use his spidey senses to figure out what Freddy Canute has in mind. Mr. Canute has this in mind. His 14th of the season. Sevilla supporters eating it up. Three minutes later, a 3-0 game. The free kick from the wing, finding a leaping Luis Fabiano, and there is no chance for Awate, and no longer any chance for Depor. Sevilla dancing all over their guests. And they'd add one more for good measure. Daniel Alves hitting his spot, and it is time to break out the holiday accessories. Alves with a little Christmas hat to suit the season. Sevilla winning, and in style. 4-0, the final. Recreativo Huelva players took heavy hearts into their match versus Real Madrid at the Bernabeu in other action. The club had actually asked for this match to be put off after four fans were killed when a supporter's bus crashed into a truck on the way to the game. Three bus passengers and the driver died in the accident. The Andalusian Health Service said that 35 passengers hold a moment of silence at the beginning of the match and put off Fabio Cannavaro's FIFA Player of the Year celebration to a later date out of respect for the victims. Uh, with the action underway, we would join up in the 35th minute. Recreativo with the ball on the far side. Nice one-touch pass to Florence Cinema Pongol. Cannavaro loses his footing, and Cinema Pongol hammers it. Short side on Iker Casillas, and it's 1-0 for Recreativo. Iachukwu Uche with the feed, and Cinema Pongol trying to let it go, but with no one there, he takes it on himself. His sixth of the season, certainly some good news on what was a tragic day, a 1-0 at the restart. Seven minutes into the second half, one becomes two. Watch Uche turn Cannavaro inside out here. This is your world player of the year, folks. Uche scores with the low ball to the near corner, and it's 2-0 for Recreativo. Uche, one behind Cinema Pongol with the goal-scoring charts, so that one bringing him to five on the season. Three points wrapped up for sure, and second half stop. It's time, free kick just outside the area. It's Emilio Vizqueda curling the shot over the wall and into the corner. 3-0 Recreativo, uh, that's his first goal of the campaign, and I'd say it's a goal of the week contender, I think. This is a gorgeous shot, and what a way to end a sad day. Recreativo turned tragedy into triumph and hammer Real Madrid's title challenge, 3-0. Well, prior to the match Wednesday, versus bogey team as of late. Last four meetings in Madrid side have won three and drawn one. So interesting to see how Barca respond, especially after that Club World Cup shocker over the weekend. Second minute, that's Deku with the hard shot. Leo Frankel the stop, cleared by Atletico. And the Catalans wanting to set the tone early. Atletico weathered it, though. Good chance here in the 27th. Free kick just outside the arc. Hammered through the wall by Antonio Lopez. The defender putting everything he has into that shot, and that'll sting for a bit off the hands of Victor Valdez. A little bit lost his footing there, but makes the save. Five minutes before the restart, Barca trying to work the ball in. Andre Iniesta taken out by Luciano Gaetti. That gives Frank Reichardt's side a free kick from in close. And Ronaldinho is the danger man, and he's looking focused. Franco trying to get the wall set up right, but even though it's to his liking, Ronaldinho still finds a way into goal. Great shot over the wall and into the far corner. 1-0 Barca. Ronaldinho so disappointed they were beaten in Japan, and he is doing his part to bring them back to success. 12th of the season for him, 1-0 at the half. But Atletico given a little too much space to maneuver just before the hour. Great ball in for Sergio Aguero, and the kid rolls in, number 13 of the campaign for him, and it's 1-1. And Javier Aguirre's men would hold off the host the rest of the way. Barca in 2006 with a draw, 1-1 the final.